we believe that starting with a young age um, in teaching people that, uh, teaching people about the environment and changing the way people think um, was important from a young age because that's where you develop all of your, your ideas. Um, we also thought the social media campaign would be very important because it's such a big area in our lives and it'd be a big area to miss because it's, it's such a huge opportunity. Um, we said that fine, finding people for doing wrong and rewarding them for doing the right thing was essential because um, they, this way we could use money towards resources and job opportunities. Uh, we would have the same legislation for each country and uh, we believe that pun punishing for doing wrong was also important. Um, by developing renewable energy resources, uh, this would create employment opportunities. Um, it would be a source of sustainable management. Uh, the tidy up days uh, would be also, we'd also like to introduce them. Um, there was great incentives in, in, one in Germany uh, where they bring bottles to a recycle centre and give them a voucher for for buying cheaper bottles the next time. Uh, we just we, we just thought this was a great idea because everything to encourage people is just it's every little bit helps. So that's pretty much it. In Holland where I live, my name is Jean Moek and I live in the Netherlands. Um, people don't like the windmills. When they walk out of their homes, they see the windmills and they don't like it. They think it's ugly. They say in the government that it should go away. It's impossible to make it compulsory. It just can't. Uh, thank you. Um, I know I agree that it's, they can be unsightly, like windmills and all that, but um, there, at the moment there is no other way that we can create these kind of renewable energy resources. There's no other options, like say for Holland, like there are other places in the north. Um, the weather is just, it's not, it's not correct for some of the resources, like such as solar panels. So there really is no other option for renewable energy resources. It's kind of the only options around. Now, indeed, we have um, had two main problems in our uh, work session. And uh, to formulate them shortly, the first one is that the European Union is not present in our daily lives. People do not know about what happens here or do not know about what the European Union can or maybe will do. And um, that problem is one that's very big because it also causes our second problem that we will talk about in a minute. Um, our solution for this is the European Union and its spokesmen should be more pursuant in arranging, for example, television interviews to explain policies and present themselves and the European Union to citizens. And we also talked about the possibility of radio broadcasts and, for example, television shows made by the European Union. But the main concern in this is language, since you know um, around us there are all translator boxes and the problem is not only that everybody in the European Union has another language to speak, but the other problem is that a lot of the stuff that's actually published now is translated to all the languages, but simply cannot be understood by citizens who, for example, do not have a law degree. So we have also proposed that the European un Union should be more simple in its use of language and translated into all the languages of the European Union so that it communicates clearly to all the people of the European Union. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you wanted to have uh, more simple programs on the television, but then you also said that you wanted people to be more critical and I was interested in how you would uh, want to implement that into our societies. You see the media are still uh, broadcasting what they choose to broadcast. I simply said that the European Union should be more persuaded, persuasive into getting in onto television shows, for example, and um, giving people the information about the European Union, about decision-making here, that they need to form their own opinion. And that's coming on your second point. Um, people should be made into critical thinkers, because we are, unfortunately, not all. I'm sure very many of us here are. Um, and that would be done by introducing certain 
themes or uh, certain extra subjects, making them more present in our school curriculum, such as, for example, philosophy.